What's going on everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to a little bit of a different video for today. I'm actually just going to talk a little bit about the upcoming update for Forza Horizon 5, which, in my opinion, is going to be a pretty good one. As a, a Porsche liker, as a Porsche enjoyer, uh, <laughs> I actually don't really mind the next update that's coming out. But in the background, you guys are going to be watching me play uh, a little bit of the trial. But I also, like, like I said, I want to talk a little bit about the next update and what is to come for Forza Horizon 5. So here's the thing, right? Here is the thing. The game is now three years old. Officially, the game is now three years old. Forza Horizon 5 has been released three years ago, and we've constantly, every single month, have gotten new updates. Uh, every single month, we've gotten a new set of cars. Every single month, we've managed to continuously make this game worthwhile and worth playing. So uh, it's, uh, it's nice that even to this day we're getting new cars and we're at least getting some sort of new content getting added into the game. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the new cars as well that are coming out with the next update, but I've also heard somewhere, I can't remember where it was, I don't know if it was on Twitter or if it was on TikTok or somewhere, I've heard that this will be the final kind of let's go uh, stream that they made for Forza Horizon 5 updates and from now on it's just going to be blog posts and posts on Twitter and stuff like that. Uh, so I don't know if they're going to be doing any more of these. Obviously, the Forza channel is still going to continuously do these Let's Go videos, I think, for Forza Motorsport. And probably a bunch of other random things they're going to end up streaming, of course. But I don't know if they're going to continuously announce any more of these updates in stream form. Okay? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I've been misinformed. I, I haven't heard it in the stream. I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't watch the entire stream of um, of the the update that's coming out so i may be wrong you guys can correct me if i'm wrong in in the comments below that's that's perfectly fine but yeah this update includes a, a bunch of new porsches actually new cars that are getting out of the game the horizon track day is what they're calling it and uh, like i said they're adding a bunch of new porsches into the game and by new i actually mean genuinely new cars and uh, a few halo themed event lab props as well and uh, they look kind of cool as well but again, it's just event lab props. I mean, for people that love to, you know, experiment and build and do all that sort of stuff with maps and, and all that, I feel like that will be a really, really fun thing to do. But for the rest of us that only hop on to play the game, to actually, you know, drive around and experience cars and stuff like that, uh, this update brings out a bunch of Porsches. We'll start off with the summer season, which they're going to be bringing out the brand new GT3 RS. Very, very sick car. I actually cannot wait. And the funniest thing is that I think they're adding this car into the game before they're adding it into Forza Motorsport. I heard someone say that they're adding this car in before Forza Motorsport. It just made me laugh because it's such a... I know it's a it's a road car. I know it's a street car. But like... Or is it this car or is it the, the, the car that's coming up after this? It doesn't matter. Regardless, we're getting a 911 GT3 RS, which I'm very, very happy about. Uh, they do have some gameplay with it. Width and also for those... Um, kind of like If you look at the rear fender, those big intakes on the side. Mm -hmm. um, they're kind of used... On the 911 Turbo, they're used to kind of intake air into the engine. On this, it's to actually relieve pressure okay. in the wheel wells. So all of the stuff on this car was to do either increase downforce and reduce drag. It doesn't sound great. It sounds a bit a bit flat and a bit boring. And I don't mean to make like a pun out of it. Like it's a, it, it sounds flat because it's a flat six, but it just sounds a little bit boring. I feel like it should scream a little bit more, especially the GT3 RS. I feel like that's the car that should scream out a little bit more. It looks beautiful, and again, I'm as a fan of Porsches, I, I really, really like it, and so I'm happy that they're adding it into the game, and we get to try it out, so definitely be trying all these cars out, by the way, uh, as the update comes out. Uh, the next car that they're going to release with the autumn season is the Porsche 911 Rally, or the Dakar, whatever, you, you guys know the, the one that I'm talking about, the, the one that's lifted, it's got the off-road suspension already, it's got the big, chunky, knobbly tires as well, and it's just... Overall, a very, very sick car. Uh, it's it's one of the cars I feel like got released and people just didn't really care that much about when it came out. Or they, they, they were like, is this really what Porsche should be releasing? And then I feel like, obviously the people that really loved it, it I'm pretty sure they bought one instantly. But uh, as time went on, I feel like people really, really loved this car as it came out. And obviously they've seen more videos on it and stuff like that. So uh, I'm one of those people, to be honest. I thought, like, what is the point of this thing? And they even done the same thing. Lamborghini did the same thing with, what was it, the Storetto? Is that what it's called? I can't remember. But that thing that goes off-road as well. I'm like, what is the point of this? And then the more I kind of look at them, the more I'm like, this could be kind of sick. Like, they made, like, a sports supercar 
into like a, a, a little rally car, you know, that you can drive on the road as well and it's lifted and you kind of don't really have to care that much about it. It's just cool. I like it and we're getting it in the game. So I'm very, very happy with that. And then we also have the 911 GT3R, the new one, the, the 2023 911 GT3R. I think this may be the car that is added into Forza Horizon 5 before Forza Motorsport, which is very weird. I don't know. Regardless, we're getting a proper race car as well, which is good because it is called the Track Day um, event or the Track Day update. So I'm kind of happy that this thing is going to be in game. Hopefully this thing absolutely screams as well. I absolutely loved the older 911 GT3R that they added into the game uh, or the RSR and stuff like that. They've added, if you remember, a bunch of, um, a bunch of Porsches back in the day. Uh, or just a bunch of race cars back in, back in like, I don't know, like a few months ago, if not almost a year ago. And they were so sick. I absolutely loved driving those things. Um, so this one is probably not going to be an exception. It's going to be really, really fun to drive in, um, in Horizon 5. So I'm kind of very much looking forward to that. And finally, last but not least, um, they're adding a new 911 Turbo S, which is again, Super, super cool car. I can't wait to drive the thing, but I don't actually have any images of it because the car itself can be earned through a championship. So it's not actually a reward car because uh, the spring season gives you, I think, uh, one of the Porsches that's already in the game, some other race car that's in the game. Um, so it's not through that. You just have to do a championship to earn the 911 Turbo S in the spring season, which is fine. I don't really care. Like, I I'm going to get it anyway, regardless, you know, but... Like I said, uh, we get a bunch of new Porsches in this game. So, yeah, I, I was saying this. Like, we actually might be close to the end of Forza Horizon 5. And if I'm if I'm right with saying that this is going to be the final, uh, like, main, like, live stream update for this game, I think I'm, I'm spot on. I think I'm spot on. After three years, they're going to slow down slowly with the content. And they're probably not going to release brand new content. Uh, in the near future. I think uh, they even showed the next set of updates that or the next update that's coming out after this one. Uh, we are actually getting a new car or at least one new car in the next update as well. I don't know if we're going to be getting four again like we're doing now or we're going to get two or three or whatever but we are going to be getting some new cars. So they're not slowing down instantly or like they're not stopping instantly with the content but they are I think slowing down a little bit so um, yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much it from me. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. It's not really that long of a video, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys or talk a little bit about the update that's coming out, and I'm kind of excited about it because it's Porsche-related, and I like Porsches. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.